Russia on Friday unleashed one of its biggest missile attacks of the Ukraine war. That's according to Ukrainian officials, who said dozens of civilians had been killed and more than 160 wounded in the country's southern and western regions. The Ukrainian foreign ministry said the vast end-of-year air assault showed there should be no talk of a truce with the Kremlin at a time when uncertainty hangs over the future of vital western support. In Kyiv, people fled to the underground metro as apartment blocks and a factory were struck. Local resident Maria said she was woken at 7.30 a.m. by a horrible sound. It was so frightening. The missile was flying and everything was buzzing, whirring. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to run down to the shelter. I thought of running into the bathroom. As I went inside the bathroom, the mirror flew off the wall with such force that one minute or a second earlier, I would have had cuts all over. Rescue workers in Kharkiv, Zaporizhia, and the port city of Odessa worked to free those trapped in the debris. Multiple fatalities have been reported in the regions, with dozens injured, including children, as residential buildings were shelled. Ukraine's Air Force said it had shot down 87 cruise missiles and 27 drones out of a total of 158 aerial targets fired by Russia. Ukraine's army chief said the bombardment also targeted critical infrastructure and industrial and military facilities. The country's energy minister says power outages have been reported across Ukraine. Ukraine has been warning for weeks Russia could be stockpiling missiles to launch a major air attack on the energy system. U.S. President Joe Biden on Friday called Russia's latest missile barrage on Ukraine a stark reminder that Russian President Vladimir Putin remained committed to destroying Ukraine, adding, quote, he must be stopped.